Hi everyone, this is Mo Volans, and here we are in Bitwig. And in this course, we're going to be concentrating on Bitwig synths, instruments, and MIDI capabilities. Now you can see already there is a synthesizer loaded in the instrument slot down here. And don't worry, we're going to be concentrating on the polysynth. It's pretty much Bitwig's flagship instrument. We're going to be looking at that, and I'm going to show you how to load it and use it. But first things first, you're going to need to be able to control it. So I'm guessing if you've got Bitwig or you've got interest in using Bitwig, it's very likely you've got some kind of MIDI controller keyboard or MIDI control surface in the studio. If you haven't, you're probably going to need one, but they're relatively inexpensive. But once you've got it hooked up via USB or hardware MIDI interface, a uh, 5 DIN pin, then you should be able to set it up without much hassle because there are actually two different routes for setting up a MIDI controller in Bitwig. So let's get down to it. We want to go to Options, and we want to go to Preferences. Now the first thing Preferences is going to display is General Audio Controllers, uh, this sort of, these sort of tabs here, and obviously you want to go straight to Controllers. Uh, to set up you, your audio interface, by the way, you want to be in Audio, and just select the correct one, and that's pretty straightforward. It will then activate the first two outputs to your speakers. But we'll concentrate on the controllers for now, and you want to be in this tab. Now there's two different methods for doing this. I found that the detect available controllers method, which is the first one we're going to cover, worked just fine. But you might find you need to use the second manual configuration mode, which I'm going to show you as well. So to detect available controllers, just click the button, wait a couple of seconds. And if you've got anything switched on and connected, it's very likely it's going to pop up nicely in the list for you there. One thing you'll want to do is ensure that you've got the correct uh, MIDI ports selected. I think it does them automatically, but I noticed that at one point it did select the wrong ones. So just ensure that if it's not working, ensure that you've got the correct MIDI ports selected in your list. And then you should be able to hear some MIDI. Great. So now you can control your synthesizers and that will be remembered in the preferences of Bitwig every time you load the app up. So you don't need to worry about doing that every single time. Now, as I said before, if you've got an interface for some reason that's not detected by using this method, then you can, of course, add it manually. To do this, it's going to offer you some various options of manufacturers that make MIDI controllers. I could go to my SL Mark II here and it's automatically going to add one. The only difference with this method is that it doesn't automatically map the ports. So then select the correct ports and hit OK, and you should have the same result. So either way is good. If you find that nothing is added in that automatic workflow, then the manual operation is the best way to go. Now you'll notice that there's also a generic mode. So if you don't see your device listed in any of these manufacturers sort of drop down menus, you can just use the generic option and click MIDI keyboard, MIDI clock transmitter or keyboard and eight device knobs, which is quite a common configuration. Pretty much any of these methods is going to get you to the same destination, but you just might have to fine tune the way you get there. So, you know, a couple of different options, just make sure that you add your MIDI keyboard, otherwise you might be wondering why you can't play any notes when you load up the first instrument in the course. And that's what we're going to be looking at next. We're going to look at how to load Bitwig's basic instruments, how to get them into the device panel, and how to get them into your project.